Australia's chief medical officer has revealed Tasmania's COVID-19 cluster that has forced 5,000 people into isolation may have been made worse by an illegal dinner party. Our New Zealand correspondent Jackson Williams is in Wellington. Jackson, Brendan Murphy has just briefed New Zealand politicians. What's the story here? Yeah, Australia's chief medical officer being questioned by New Zealand MPs who are part of a special select committee uh, being chaired by the opposition leader that was set up to scrutinise the Ardern government's handling and response to the COVID-19 crisis. Now, uh, Dr Brendan Murphy has just finished uh, uh, providing an update and answering questions on the situation uh, in Australia, the, the approach that has been adopted uh, in Australia. He also cited the worsening situation in Tasmania, as we have been reporting through Throughout the, the, the morning, uh, a Ruby Princess passenger has been identified as the suspected source of Tasmania's deadly COVID-19 cluster. Now, Australia's chief medical officer has revealed to New Zealand uh, MPs that the situation in Tasmania was likely made worse by uh, an illegal dinner party attended by medical workers. You have to be prepared to to deal with further outbreaks. I mean, we had we thought we were doing really well in the last week, and then we had a cluster of 49 cases in a hospital in Tasmania just over the weekend. They were, most of them went to an illegal dinner party of medical workers, <laughs> but uh, we think... Now, Tom, in Australia, we know that there are 18 deaths and at least 600 cases linked to the virus-stricken cruise ship that stopped at a number of New Zealand ports before uh, returning to Circular Quay uh, in Sydney. There is a cluster of cases, of 18 cases, in New Zealand's Hawke's Bay region uh, linked to the cruise ship and its time spent uh, travelling through uh, New Zealand. But the Chief Medical Officer says New Zealand really has dodged a bullet. I think you're very lucky that the Ruby Princess unloaded in Sydney yep. rather than in New Zealand because that's become a bit of a saga here. Tom, as for the current uh, COVID-19 situation in New Zealand, 19 new infections were recorded yesterday, taking the total tally uh, to 1,349. In recent days, the death toll has risen from one to five. Three of those deaths are linked to an aged care facility in Christchurch.